Uh, hey guys, uh, just finished working out um, and to kind of have a big, a big breakthrough in the gym today uh, I wanted to share with you and it's really about setting goals and how goals become your standard after a while and I was doing bench press today and I've been, I've been kind of working on 185 uh, for a while uh, my goal was 10 times and I, I since surpassed that goal so today I thought I'd throw 195 on there and I was able to do that for six uh, after my 185 set and it wasn't until I started racking the uh, the weights again that I realized that maybe 15 years ago, when you know I was a, a younger man, I never could imagine I would be doing that. That was uh, a, a goal that I had seen other people do, and I'm like, man, that guy's really strong, and I'm just a scrawny little 120 pound geek, basically. That's what I felt about myself. But when I when I started setting these goals and started pushing myself into this world. Uh, I started operating at that level of excellence uh, for myself and I was really proud of myself and I was like man I can never thought this was possible to be able to do this much weight and I'm eventually going to try to work towards 225 uh, for me or for a guy my size about uh, 5'7 150 uh, that's a pretty good goal good healthy goal for me uh, so but it's I, I continually set these small goals and now that I'm more in my old man strength <laughs> quote unquote I've, I've since developed some more of these habits of seeing where I'm where I can compete and where I'm currently at physically and then setting that goal for the next round and then knowing that the goals I had set for myself and move forward on I'm operating at a much higher level than I used to so sometimes you're not going to see your true potential until you start setting these micro goals until you know you start stacking these up like Legos where you can start building something that's really cool for yourself and then you look back and then the goals that you had set for yourself maybe 10 years ago aren't going to be in the same league as the goals that you set today. And, you know, when I, when I do this uh, channel for, you know, self-improvement and for my tennis and everything, it really it, it helps me uh, think about these things and how to, how to get this out in the universe so I can help myself keep progressing. Because even in my own tennis game, I've set those goals and I'm playing at a much higher level now than I ever used to. So I uh, keep setting goals. Uh, I am a big proponent of that. And you're going to really surprise yourself with what you can accomplish. So that's all I got for this one. I'll catch you in the next one.